Hi everybody, it's Steven for the Fragrance Lair with I think it's part three of the six part series of my top 30 winter fragrances for 2015. So without further ado, number 20 we're going to start off with and this fragrance is slowly and slowly getting lower and lower, oh I should say yeah, lower on the list because I'm getting better and better ones, but it's still good. I almost guarantee it's always going to be on the list, but if it doesn't, then that means I have a really stellar collection, because this one's good. It is none other than Axe Dark Temptation. No. No. It's not Axe Dark Temptation. It's Hugo Boss bottled, and, ooh, I shook it up. Shake it off, shake it off. Ooh, vanilla, apple, cinnamon, mm, gourmand, in my opinion. Ooh. Lovely stuff. And number 20, you got Hugo Boss Bulls Bottle. You know what I'm saying. Ho, ho. So, vanilla, apple, cinnamon. Really good stuff. Number 20, Hugo Boss Bottle. Pick it up. Number 8. Just kidding. 19. 19. The second Terry McGlay fragrance in this list. <clears throat> Terry McGlay's Pure Shot, just kidding, Pure Leather. Mmm, leather, chocolate, amen, DNA, ooh, la, 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 sweet, mmm, vanilla, caramel, ha, 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 just you name it, it's in here. Oh. I like this stuff a lot. This is for the people who like amen, but can't get past that horrendous, in their opinion, not mine, horrendous tar note, because I love the tar note, that's why it's... Amen's going to be lower on the list, or I should say higher, and this one's lower. So, yeah. Gorgeous. It's not too leathery, but it's enough leather where it's there, but not enough leather where it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I'm leather, look at me. No, but I want, I'm leather, look at me. So, oh, this, this video is going to get a lot of dislikes, but what are you going to do? Uh... So, yeah. Number 19. Pure leather. Terry McGlay. Gorgeous. Number 18. I'm going to act serious for this one because this, this is a seriously good fragrance. Number 18. Serge Luton's Shergi. Powdery. Hay. Tobacco. Sweet. Magnificent fragrance. Great. I like it a lot. Another fragrance that I got really cheap off of Amazon. I got it like... 60 something bucks and that's fantastic for this for this this is an 140 something dollar fragrance i got for 60 bucks you, you gotta be kidding me this is gorgeous <sighs> Love it. Ah. so we got some hay some tobacco some sweetness the hay and the tobacco play really well and make it a unique tobacco fragrance this is none other than any fragrance i have I mean, this and Ombre Sultan are similar in the fact that they're from the same person, so their their artistic style, you could smell that, but besides that, this is completely different than Ombre Sultan. The only other similarity, this is, this is they're both powdery, but besides that, they're completely different. I'm actually thinking of layering those two one day and seeing what I get, because that could be the bomb, the diggity bomb, in my opinion. So, yeah, number 18, Serge Luton's. Shergy. Alright. Number 17 from Lassatan. I heard it was discontinued. Why? Just want Lassatan to get over here. Bitch. Don't! What's wrong with you? Don't! Don't! This is Odebo. Why did you discontinue this? You put Braille on the box. It was so. Oh, it was incredible. Oh, God. <sighs> Cypress, vanilla, warm, spicy, draws opinions in comparisons to tobacco, vanilla, and you discontinue it. What were you thinking? Adios mio. Like, come on. There. I mean, I, I, honestly, if the business realized this wasn't pulling in enough money, I understand canceling the, the product and discontinuing it. But people like me, fragrance heads, they're disappointed in you. Let me guess, you're going to go make a freaking citrus freshie for the freaking mainstream fragrance people. And not people like us. Nobody likes people like us anymore. Oh, so that might, you got to go niche because of you people. Keep these fragrances around. Oh, 
So, cypress, vanilla, warm, spicy. Oh, incense, smoky. Get a little bit of that too. Oh, this is heavenly. Number 17, Lacetan Odebo. I'm going to be easy on a trigger with this one because I don't want to run out of it and pay double for it. Oh, I refuse. So, all right. Number 16 and the final one for today is going to be Dior's Celsius. Oh, wait, no. That's Fahrenheit. Excuse me. Huh. So, Dior Fahrenheit. Petroleum, violet, leather, heavenly powerhouse 80s fragrance. What else would you want from a powerhouse 80s fragrance? If you want anything else from a powerhouse 80s fragrance, then you need to get the hell out because this brings it all. I want to pick up the parfum version of this. I heard it's sweeter, and I'm curious to see how sweetness and vanilla goes into this. Because that, in my opinion, that would be pretty good. So, Okay, so yes, that's number 16, Dior Fahrenheit, Petroleum Violet Leather. Mmm, I like it. So, that was part three, I believe, of the top 30 fragrances of 2015 for the winter. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video, but I'm also assuming some of you people did not like my antics in this video, so you can go fuck yourself if you don't like it. Tough shit. And my fans who do like it, thank you very much, and I'm making these videos for you. Not for the haters, for you. My subscribers are making it for you. For the haters, pfft, no. Okay, so thank you for watching, everybody, and have a great day or night. Salut.